last couple of weeks has been pretty surreal as well. So, certainly, uh, yeah, certainly very pleased. And um, look, I guess from a team perspective, we're in a pretty good position as well. So, yeah, yeah, pretty happy. I guess the Basin Wicket does assist bowlers, and um, as a bowling unit, you know, we're pretty excited to bowl on that. So. Look, it was just about trying to put it in good areas for long enough and um, hopefully the pitch helps you out and you can get a few wickets. The last few weeks, I think it's, you know, my role um, is to, I guess, try and make them play and with that extra bounce as well, try and bring them forward and look, there's a lot of assistance there with the pace and bounce and the swing and seam on offer. So um, I guess that, again, that simplifies my my kind of game plan into just trying to hit a good area and, um, yeah, look, manage to... Managed to say pretty relaxed, which um, yeah, which helped. So your day two, you think is still the wicket there, your experience of the wicket to, is still a bit there? Yeah, look, I think um, from my experience playing here, it usually holds um, holds that pace and bounce for a couple of days. So um, yeah, I'm sure there will still be a little bit tomorrow, um, you know, to help us. And um, yeah, certainly looking forward to getting back out there. Often flying bombs have been influenced by Glenn Negra. Uh, growing up, influenced by Glenn McGrath bowling the great. Growing up. Oh yeah, look like um, I think as most Kiwi kids, you watch you know your home summer and the Aussie home summer, and um, grew up watching him. And look, he's obviously got a pretty pretty good record. So um, I wouldn't say necessarily influenced me, but I think as any cricketer, you're always watching um, some of the best go around and trying how you know how do you implement that um, in your own game plan. So you know, whilst I watched a lot of him and. Um, admired him. Um, yeah, I don't know how much he's had you know, his influence.